Hey everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today Jake and I are going to be playing Warhammer 40k. This time we're doing something a little bit different. It's not our slow grow. We are playing a narrative mission. So we've kind of made up our own scenario, which I'll go over in a little bit uh, when we take a look at the map, um, uh, to kind of lay down a narrative and play something a little bit different. In part we're doing it because we have some cool new terrain that was uh, sent to us by Laser Terrain Co. Uh, so you'll be seeing that right here in front of us. So it's a cool outpost and we thought with a neat science fiction outpost wouldn't it be cool if we had guys defending it? What's better to defend uh, from it than giant bugs? <laughs> so we've got Marines fighting bugs. So Jake's going to be bringing his not space wolves. Do you know who they're, what they're called? Yep, like I said before, I don't know the chapter yet, so if someone can give me some good names out there in the comments, add some good names. We're still in a very much a wolf theme, just not nearly as feral as the Space Wolves are. <laughs> Alright, so, and Jake will go over that more in his army description, but right now they're not Space Wolves. Basically, they are being led by a uh, custode captain. Correct, yeah, and I'm using the Raven Guard trait. Oh For your Marines, excellent. Yeah. And then... Um, and then you'll see my Tyranids. Yes, I'm, I'm playing Tyranids for this battle. Um, and I don't know how this battle's going to go. It might be a complete bust. Uh, either one of us could get steamrolled. Uh, and we're the first time playing with Custode rules. Yes, uh, I haven't finished all my guys yet. I have a lot more guys coming. Um, but so far I've only gotten close to finishing these three bikes. So I'm running the, uh, what's it called, Superior Command Detachment which I don't, definitely don't want to play a lot for sure. Like, I definitely want to keep it to just two captains because fluff reasons, why two? But for this game, we're doing three. Yep, and we'll try to have a fluffy reason for that. We'll, we'll describe it more when we get to the mission. And I'm playing Tyranids for the first time on the channel. I fought them many a time, the first time playing them. So if we get any rules mistakes, please feel free to point them uh, uh, out down below. Uh, we don't mind, but be gentle. So there you go. Alright, so next up we're going to take a look at the armies, then we'll take a look at the uh, mission and deployment. Okay, and I forgot to mention for my Custody Warlord, um, he has a relic on him that gives him a 3-up invulnerable save, I believe it's called like the Eagle's Eye, and then um, I believe it's the perfect creation for the Warlord trait, which is giving him a 5-up feel no pain. So he's pretty much a tank. Okay, so here I have my 1500 point list. Um, in this list, we have a Custody Shield Captain in the middle. He is going to be my Warlord. Um, I also have two more Shield Captains on bikes. They are coming in reserve in our special mission that we're doing here. Um, all the Marines that you see around them, um, they're actually my Horus Heresy Space Wolves, um, but I would like to, I want to make up my own chapter for 40k and I like this paint scheme a lot, so they'll stay very similar. Um, but if you guys have any ideas at what chapter I should kind of make my guys, it's gonna be my own custom thing, so its own name, but still um, centered around a wolf, because that's one of my favorite animals. That's what got me into Space Wolves in the beginning. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of how the Space Wolves look now in 40K, so I'm trying to get away from that and kind of do my own thing for 40K. So this is kind of my own made up chapter. We don't really have a name yet, um, but they're gonna use the Raven Guard trait because um, I think that fits in best with just kind of what I want to do with them and kind of the fluff that I'm building for them. But over here um, we ha with the sword we have a captain and then down below here we have an additional captain in cataphracty armor. Um, over here we have a relic dreadnought. He has the twin uh, kerns pattern assault cannons I think it is. Carries pattern assault cannons whatever. And then we have four squads of five Marines each. Um, they are all pretty much identical. The Sergeant has a chain sword, bolt pistol, and melt a bomb. Um, except for the squad that's closest here, our Sergeant here has a lightning claw, um, but he also has a melt a bomb as well. We have two Rhinos with um, hunter killer missiles. And that is pretty much it starting on the board. All right, here is my Tyranid list. Uh, yes, Jacob's not the only one that has Tyranids in our group. All right, so my list is kind of themed. I'm kind of building a, a shooty 
Tyranid list. So I've got a uh, battalion and a uh, whatever the formation is that's the three heavy support. Um, on Spearhead, I think it is. So I've got a, a flying hive tyrant with two sets of twin link devourers and wings, uh, Neurothrope as the other HQ in the battalion, and uh, we've got basically uh, three units of Termagants, 10, 10, and 17, and a unit of four Ripper Swarms. So those are the uh, troops. And then as elites, we have uh, a unit of three Venom Thropes, which are over here, and um, I think that's it. And then for the heavy support formation, that's also led by a Neurothrope as a unit of three um, of the guys that shoot. What are those guys called, Jake? Biovores. Yes, Biovores. That's what they're called. Uh, then we have a Carnifex that's got some uh, uh, cannons on him, so he's a shooty Carnifex with the extended uh, senses, so he can uh, shoot a little bit better. And we have the Exocrine, which has the plasma cannon head, which is awesome. Oh, I forgot the Tyrannifex, if I didn't mention it before. We have the mighty Tyrannifex with the, um, I think it's the Rupture Cannon. And I didn't mention the Hive Guard, that's part of the battalion. Uh, so three Hive Guard with the cool guns that uh, can shoot and stay out of line of sight, which is awesome. So that's my 1500 points. Uh, High Fleet Kronos, I believe this is, so if I don't move, I can uh, reroll ones in the shooting phase. We are here on IMR 7 on the red dunes of this war racked planet looking at outpost 23. This outpost had previously been overrun by Tyranid swarms and left abandoned. However, an Imperial task force has arrived and their mission to download an important data core from the memory banks of outpost 23. This task force is led by none other than a mighty Custody Shield Captain and his retinue of Space Marines. Unfortunately, in the middle of downloading the data and before they could extract themselves, Tyranids have arrived. For some reason, the endless swarms of Tyranids have detected this incursion and have responded in force. A swarm of aliens swarms in on the Imperial lines, looking to consume them. Can the Marines, led by the S.H.I.E.L.D. Captain, uh, download the data core in time and extract themselves? Can they defeat this splinter of High Fleet Kronos, or will they be overrun or have to retreat before they can recover the valuable data? One ace in the Imperial sleeve, however, is the S.H.I.E.L.D. Captain. He has several friends nearby and additional detachments, and he has summoned them for assistance. While those detachments have left behind their personal retinues of Space Marines and Imperial Guard, they are rushing forward on their own bikes. So two more S.H.I.E.L.D. Captains will be arriving to assist their friend. Will that be enough to stop the Tyranid Hordes? We will find out on turn one. All right, so here is deployment for our custom mission. We've got the Space Marines led by that awesome shield captain here in the middle of the board. We basically let him deploy within a 12 inch circle of the center of the board. And then this is the important data core that they are guarding. Now, the Tyranids were allowed to deploy 12 inches on any table side. Basically, they took uh, this table side. So they have to be outside of 12 of any Imperial and within 12 of the edge of the board. So we've got the uh, Imperials here. They did not know which way the uh, Tyranids would come or if they would come all directions. So they're kind of set up centrally. And then over here I've deployed my Tyranids. We've got basically Termagants, my heavy hitters, the Ranifex, Carnifex, um, one of the Neurothropes, more Gaunts protecting the Venomthropes, uh, the Exocrine, 
the hive garb and more gaunts over there. And then back here, since these guys can do semi indirect fire, they're just behind the wall. They're going to be lobbing spore mines. Hopefully, all battle into there. Now, I do have uh, these fine fellows in reserve a flying hive tyrant and uh, four uh, stands of rippers, ripper swarms. And Jake has his two shield captains, his friends, that are arriving as well. So they uh, represent uh, other shield captains that are coming, rushing over from other detachments that are out and about doing things, but those other detachments are too slow. The jet bikes are just so fast that they're going to get here, they're going to be able to help before those other units can get here. So only those shield captains are be able to assist. So they will be arriving uh, in reserves basically. Uh, normally shield captains don't get that rule and we know that but for our special narrative mission that's what we're doing. I'd also like to point out that the terrain we're using today is from Laser Terrain Co. Uh, so this is their MDF terrain outposts and building which is really cool and I forget the company that this mat is from. Um, it might be I think it might be gamemat.eu so there you go we're gonna go ahead and roll for turn one and take us into the battle alright so this is an important roll who gets to go first even though the Tyranids have breached the complex are the Space Marines fast enough to seize the initiative alright so we're gonna go ahead and roll off for first turn alright so the Space Marines have the first turn unless I can seize on a six let's see that six oh. alright so that's turn one for these guys okay so I'm using one of my stratagems um, it is called Victor of the Blood Games so I'm going down to five command points right off the bat um, use the stratagem when you set up your custom character um, from your army deployment, you can reroll one hit roll and one rune roll or one save roll for this model in each turn. Okay, so a quick movement recap. Um, I just shuffled around. I put all my uh, squads of five marines that were on the ground in each rhino uh, just to keep them safe for a little bit longer. And I slightly moved up, but I want to stay close um, because my objective is right here. Right, and for the purposes of our narrative mission, when the game ends, Jake has to have someone within three inches of that objective to receive the data, or else it's a loss for the Imperium. Okay, so the shield captain is shooting at that front row of bugs. He's got hurricane bolters, so six shots. The You're going after the gaunts. Yeah. All right. So they are one harder to hit because of the venom thrope. So what do you hit on normally? Twos, I imagine? Yeah, so twos. So now I'm hitting on threes, and I reroll ones because he's a captain. We roll the one. Okay, so one miss. And it's just a normal bolter. So threes to wound. It's two wounds. Alright, any minus? Nope. So let's see, two six ups. Alright, just one dead. Alright, so storm bolter from this rhino. Uh, same target. Two hits. One hit. Oh, yeah, that's right, one hit, sorry. And wounding on a three. No. And there's. Hitting on a 4 plus because of the venom thropes and their cloud of whatever to make him harder to hit. Alright, and then this guy? This guy, uh, same grouping. Okay. You really don't like those gaunts. One hit. And to wound. No. Is that it for shooting? Uh, yes, I think so. Alright, so on to Tyranid's turn one. Okay, recapping Tyranid movement. So these bugs have all moved forward. Pretty much everyone moved forward six. One of my Neurothropes moved up to the top of the roof to get uh, within smite range of him. And my big bugs have kind of started moving around the building to draw line of sight to um, some of those guys in the middle. So on to Tyranid psychic phase. All right, so first up we've got uh, Smite. We're going to cast it on this Rhino because I think it's the closest thing. Uh, we're looking for a 5. And we got it with a 7. So that's D3 
mortal wounds. And we got three mortal wounds. Next up, this Neurothrope is going to smite that Rhino. We are using the new uh, test rules, so every smite is one harder. So the first smite I needed a five, so this guy's smite will need a six. Ah, a five. And it's not worth uh, spending a command point yet, so we won't. All right, first up in the shooting phase, my three biovores are going to be targeting that rhino. So they have a uh, ballistic skill of four plus. Because they are Kronos, they get to reroll ones. And they completely miss. Ugh. So the way with the biovore rules work, each one of those biovores can now place a spore mine. All right next up, I've got my Gaunts firing at that rhino. Uh, I've got 11 shots between flesh borers and devourers. Um, hitting on fours, and then wounding on fives. You just picked up a three. So we got wow. five wounds at no minus, Jake. Okay, so three up armor save. One wound. Next up, those uh, Termagants over there are firing into the uh, Rhino with this many shots, looking for fours. Now that does not look as good, but not too bad. And then wounding on fives. So let's see, uh, three more save or three saves on that one. I guess that's a new Rhino for you. So just one. Okay, so he takes two damage. Okay, next my middle group of Termagants are going to be firing. Um, looking for fours. Wounding on fives. So we got, let's see, three more saves, Jake, on that damaged one. So one more gets through. Dropping him to seven, right? Yep. All right. All right. Next up, my Carnifex is going to be shooting. First up, he's going to be firing the Devourer with Brain Leech Worms. So it's an Assault Six weapon, um, and he has the uh, senses, uh, enhanced senses. So he's Ballistic Skill Three Plus. So we're targeting that Rhino, uh, and let's see what we get. So we he moved, so I can't reroll the one. But we do get four hits, which is nice. And it's strength six versus toughness seven rhino, so I need fives to uh, cause damage. And I don't get any damage. And then next, he's going to be firing his heavy venom cannon, assault D3. So we're going to get two shots with that, hitting on threes. So we got one hit. Too bad he moved or could have rebuild that. And it's strength nine, I believe, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Versus toughness seven, so threes to wound. So we got a wound, and it's minus minus two. So minus I need two. A five up save. Nope. So that is three damage. Just a flat three, dropping them down to four. All right. Next up, the Tyrannifex is going to be firing at the Rhino. So it is a heavy three. He did move, and uh, I'll double check his ballistic skill. All right. So he's going to need uh, his ballistic skill. Normally is four, so he's going to need five. So three shots. At that damaged rhino. Ah, if only I hadn't moved. Next up, my Exocrine Heavy Six into that same rhino. Uh, he moved, it's heavy, so these are hitting on fives as well. And looks like we got two hits. That is going to wound on, um, I fours. think it's fours. Yeah, you're strength seven, right? Yeah, it's like plasma. Yeah. So that's going to be one wound at minus three, Dick. Okay, so six. Hey! Ah, got it. All right, next up, my Hive Guard are going to be firing their Heavy Impaler Cannons at that Rhino. They have a Ballistic Skill of three up. They did not move, so they can reroll ones if we need to. So, of course, we roll three twos. And we'll reroll that one. So we got three hits. And then we're wounding you on threes. So that is 
three wounds at, I believe it is, minus three. Okay. Sixes. Two sixes. So one goes through. And it's D3 damage. So that's two damage. Okay, so that is the fire for turn. It's turn one, and I don't have any assaults. Really didn't do too much. I peeled off some wounds off both rhinos. Got some spore mines down there that he'll have to deal with. Uh, but other than that, uh, on to Space Marines, turn two. Okay, so for the movement phase, we got our other captains in. Um, they've just moved 14 inches on from the board edge over here. Um, we've moved this rhino, and we moved that rhino. That one's only going three inches right now. Um, and that's pretty much it. So all the troops bailed out. These guys got on. Oh that yeah, building. these guys did bail out. So they just yeah got on those buildings. Yeah. And you did some minor shuffling on top of that building. Yeah, just to, to fix little bolter ranges and whatnot. All right, so uh, you know, those guys don't have any psychic. So nope. on to uh, shooting for Imperium turn two. Okay, so this rhino is going to shoot a hunter killer missile. We're going to shoot it at this Carnifex right here. Okay. Needing a five. Right, because of those guys. Well, the Carnifex has his own cloud that makes him harder to hit. But oh, okay. yeah, same same deal. Is he a four if I target him? Yeah, he's not. Uh, I'll have to measure to see if he's within six, but I don't think he is. Okay, then we'll go for him. Okay. So four to hit him because I moved, and the hunter killer missile is a heavy. We hit him. Okay. All right. So wounding. Um, I take it your toughness eight, right? The Tyrannifex is. Yep. Yeah. So wounding on a four which we do wound, um, the Hunter Killer Missile is minus two. All right, so it's, uh, is it just uh, one? Yeah, it's just one shot. One hit, okay. Yeah. So I think I'm a three up, so going to a five up. Nope. Okay, and that does D6 damage. Okay. Ah, just the one. Um, I think we will spend a command point, so we are down to four to reroll that. Six. Oh, what a worthwhile totally command point. Okay. okay, so this guy's going to shoot his hunter killer missile as well. He needs a six because he's messed up and he moved. <laughs> and he misses. And sorry, back up. I forgot the storm bolter. So two shots into these guys, needing threes. One hit, wounding on a three. No wound. And his storm bolters? Uh, yes, he'll go into those other guys. Two hit or no, two misses, because he's on fours now. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do five shots into these uh, little bugs over here. Okay. Alright. So looking so, for threes. Yep. Um, we're re-rolling one because the captain is nearby. Yep. So three hits and wounding on threes. Two wounds. Alright, I need two six ups. One's dead. You killed this guy here. Splat. All right, so the, this captain right here is going to shoot his storm bolster, same target. So twos, re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones. Still a one. Oh, he's awesome. And okay. wounding on a three. It's a five. No minus. So let's see another six. No, one more dead. You killed this guy. Put it. Okay, so these five marines are going to shoot at these spore mines. So they're all a separate unit. So we're going to do two, two, and one in that order. So the first one, two, two hits. hits. We'll then just the, go to wound. Yeah, well, two's to wound. Two wounds. And uh, I don't think he gets a save, so he explodes. Next guy, one hit, one wound. Okay. And, and the this. last guy, one hit, one wound. Okay, so you killed all the spore mines. Okay, so my dreadnought is going to shoot his assault cannons into those bugs over there. Turbo guns? Yes. 12 shots. Hitting on its threes, right? Or is it twos for him? Uh, I believe it's twos because he is a venerable, is that right? Yeah, he's a relic contemptor. Oh. Let me double check. Okay. Okay, so his ballistic skill is a 2+. plus. Uh, we rolled four ones, but thankfully the captain is here. So re-rolling. All right, so only one miss. 
I'm wounding you on twos now. Okay, and all wounds, and I don't think you get any save. And uh, that's first blood. That was a unit of ten uh, Termagants. Okay, so this shield captain is going into uh, the guys closest to him. Okay. So six shots because we're not within twelve. Um, hitting on twos. Rerolling the one. All right, so that is six hits. Uh, rolling to wound you now. Uh, wounding on threes. So that is four wounds. No minus. All right, so let's see some more of these sixes. Nope, that's four dead. Okay, so this shield captain, um, there are still guys within 12 of him, so he gets 12 shots. Hitting on twos, I'll hit. Wounding on threes. Looks like we missed four. All right, let's see some sixes here. All right, so you kill six. six of them. Okay, so our shield captain is going to shoot at the same target as before, so six shots, needing twos, or no, threes, threes yeah. because of your other bugs. Hey, for the venom tropes. Hey, there's a two. Okay. And wounding on threes. And that is five wounds. All right. Four dead. Okay, um, this rhino is going to assault this guy over here. Carnifex? Yeah. All right, so uh, the uh, devourers, six shots, looking for sixes. You got one there. We wound you on a five. You got a wound. Nice. I don't know what the minus is. Go ahead and roll it, and we'll check if we need to. Uh, yep. It definitely got through. Okay. And then it is uh, D3... For the Venom Cannon shots, that's going to be two shots looking for sixes. No. Okay, uh, my Rhino is charging. He needs a six to get in there. Okay. And he definitely makes it. Okay, uh, the Rhino is going to charge. He needs a 12 inch charge, but before that, Overwatch. Alright, so we got 12 shots looking for sixes. So we got two, wounding on fives. That's one. Can we see a three up save? Three up. We do. All right. All right, and big old sixes. No. All right, the rhino is going to strike you down. D3. Just one, needing a six. Nothing. All right, the Carnifex has four attacks. One of those attacks is his tail, his bone mace, so we're going to go ahead and roll that one first. Um, that one hits on a four. Duh. And then the other three attacks hit on fours. So we got one. I believe I need a I'm strength seven, so a four to wound. No wounds. Okay, so quick recap. Um, my custodes came in and they did a lot of shooting on this side. Um, we got rid of a lot of your hormigons. That's what they're called. Right? Termagons. Termagons. Dang it. So close. Um, the part I liked especially was this rhino coming up, tying up that Carnifex just so he can't shoot at me. That's basically the only reason. Um, we killed all the that whole unit over there for first blood, and I think that's about it. All right, so on to Tyranid's turn two. Okay, recapping Tyranid movement for turn uh, two. Basically, my Gaunts all moved up, my Carnifex backed up, uh, this guy deep struck here, and uh, we're ready to go into some Psychic. Okay, in the Psychic phase, I'm going to start with that Neurothrope. His first Psychic power is going to be Smite. He's going to try to Smite the Rhino, looking for a five. We get it with a 10. Does it D3 mortal wounds? That is three mortal wounds. Down to two, right Jake? Yep. All right, and then he's also gonna cast Psychic Scream. 
on the same unit and Psychic Scream has a warp value of 5. And basically it works just like Smite. <coughs> ah! A 4. And do I want to spend a command point? Yes, yes I do. So I'll spend a command point, my first command point, so I'm down to 6 command points, but uh, Psychic Scream goes off and it's D3 Mortal Wounds. A 3 up will destroy the Rhino. Ah! He's down to one wound. Next up, this guy is going to be casting Smite on the Rhino. Looking for a six because it's the second time I've used Smite. And we get it with a six. And he's destroyed. So no matter what, he's destroyed, but he takes three mortal wounds. Okay, and on a six, he explodes. No, don't explode. No, it's a four. But the explosion is enough to knock him off his bike. All right, next up, he's going to cast Paroxysm on that closest shield captain. It's warp value of 5, and um, if I get it off, he has to fight uh, last in the fighting phase. Okay, so he is Paroxysm. And then last but not least, he's going to go, I think he's going to go with Smite, and I believe those Space Marines on the roof are probably closest. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to go with Smite first. This is my third attempt at Smite. So we uh, need a 7 using the new rules. Oh. And we get it with a 10. So <clears throat> that's uh, D3 Mortal Wounds on these guys. Oh. And we get 2, so that's 2 slain Space Marines. And then for his second, he's going to cast Catalyst on himself. Uh, so that is <clears throat> Warp Charge 6. That gives him basically a 5 up, feel no pain. Oh. Oh. That is a perils. And I can't stop it because I already re rolled the die. <clears throat> and he's not a Neurothrope, or else I could re roll those ones. So I take one Mortal Wound. All right, next up, these. Uh, Gaunts are going to be firing at the remnants of that Space Marine squad up there. Uh, we get 16 shots with all those devourers. And we're hitting on fours. <clears throat> so actually that's not too bad. And then we are wounding on uh, fours as well. So it looks like, Jake, you got four wounds uh, with the three up. Okay. Four wounds. That's two more dead. Two down. Oh, wait, are you shooting at these guys? Yep. Uh, aren't we counting all these buildings as cover? Uh, yes, sure, we sure can. Okay, so then they're all good. All right, the next unit of Gaunts are going to fire at uh, the same guys. Hitting on fours. <coughs> Wounding on fours. So we've got seven wounds. All right, and on a two up, one's dead. Next up, my biovores are going to be firing on that dreadnought. They can fire indirectly. Uh, they are hitting on fours, we're rolling ones because they haven't moved. <clears throat> so we got two hits plus a one, which we can reroll, and it's still a one. So the way that these work, Jake, is um, on a 1, they do nothing. On a 2 through 5, they do 1 mortal wound. On a 6, they do D3 mortal wounds. So that is 2 mortal wounds off your Dreadnought. And the 1 miss is going to produce 1 Spore Mountain. Alright, so my Dreadnought has Relic of Ancient Glory. So essentially, I get a 6 up Feel No Pain. Which we don't get anything. Next up, my Hive Guard are going to be firing at the Dreadnought as well. So that's going to be six shots, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. So, of course, we got more twos. We can reroll that one. So we turn that into four hits. Alright, so these are strength eight. Uh, the Dreadnought's toughness is seven, so we're wounding on threes. 
So we convert that for three hits. Each one of these is minus two. Okay, so five up, save either way. So one goes through. And it's D3 damage. So it's three damage. All right, and then I get uh, the feel no pain, so sixes. So all go through. All right, my exocrine is going to be firing. Uh, he's going to go into the uh, rhino first, hitting on fours. He did not move, so he can reroll ones. So that's two ones. And then we are wounding on uh, fours. And we got all fails. So since he did not move, he can shoot again. So he's going to shoot at the same target. Try to take out that rhino. Hitting on fours. Four hits. Wounding on fours. That's a little bit better with two hits. At minus three, Jake, so you need some sixes. Two damage each. So you need to pass both of these. Basically. Yeah. Nope. Okay. And does he explode? All right, he, uh, Hive Tyrant guy, is going to be firing all of his Devourer's Brain Leech Worms at that lead shield captain. 24 shots, hitting on threes. This is the first 12. And we only get uh, seven in that first go around. So seven so far. And we're going to roll again. We take him down, yay! And that is really terrible. So we get another uh, seven, so that's 14 hits. All right, and then uh, here we go for the wounds, looking for uh, fours, toughness uh, six, strength six weapon. All right, we got five wounds, Jake. Let's see, five two-up saves. Okay. Yeah. All right, the Terran effects is going to be firing at those two guys up on the roof. Uh, it's a heavy three, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Well, we got three hits so far. Strength eight, so wounding on twos. So that's three wounds so far. And then Jake, uh, it's a minus uh, t a three, I believe. It's like a last cannon, so, so your two up saved. goes to a five up. So two go through. So two go through, and then the rest of his fire uh, is wasted. All right, so that's it for uh, Tyranid shooting. I'm still kind of out of assault range, so... Uh, let's do a quick recap. I destroyed both rhinos finally and took out that squad of five guys on top of the building. And uh, that's it. So on to Imperium, turn three. All right, so a movement recap. Um, I've moved all the custodies up. Um, the Dreadnought moved over a little bit just to get shots in this direction. Um, my Cataphracty Captain moved up four inches because it's as fast as he can go. He's probably just going to take out the Spore Mine. Everybody is pushed along this way because we know the Flying Hive Tyrant's in that corner so we can get as close for shooting. Um, and other than that, that's about it. The Banner Bearer also ran up there. Alright, the Captain is shooting two shots into this guy. Two hits. And two wounds. Oh. Okay, those five marines are shooting those five bugs. Termagants. Well, they did terribly. <laughs> one hit. Wounding on a three. One wound. Let's see that six. No wounds. All right, so my shield captain that has been paroxysmed is going to shoot... Um, our hurricane bolters into this group. Of gaunts? Yep. Okay. Rerolling the ones, thank goodness. 
Alright, and wounding you on threes. Ready for a whole bunch of six ups? Yep. Alright. No. Alright, that's the unit, that's all six. Alright, um, our warlord is going to shoot his hurricane bolter into those chumps. Twos. Wow, I rolled so many ones. <laughs> Twos. Alright, now to wound, needing threes. Alright, I need to see a whole bunch of sixes here for anybody to survive. Nope, nope, still got them all. That was a valiant effort, though. <laughs> All right, so my relic dreadnought uh, moved over, and he's going to shoot at that uh, brain bug. What's his name? Neurothrope. Neurothrope. Okay. All right, so uh, normally on twos, but I moved, so threes. Okay. And rerolling the one. So we got three misses there. I'm strength seven, so threes to wound you. Yep, he's only toughness four. Okay, five, six, seven wounds. All right, he's got a three up invuln. And he takes two wounds. All right, so my custode is charging the Carnifex. So overwatch. All right, so uh, we got 12 shots with the devourers looking for sixes. We got two. I think I'm wounding you on your toughness six or seven? Six. So wounding you on um, fours. So it's one wound. Okay. At, I don't think it's any minus, so go ahead and make your save. So two up save. Good. And then D3 with my heavy venom cannon, so three shots. Looking for sixes. No. All right, and then he is going to charge 2D6. And with an eight, he definitely makes it in. Um, okay, so for this custody, we're going to charge the brain bug. Um, we all were up here, it was just wobbly model, so we really don't need much to get in. And a 9 is definitely enough. Okay, so my uh, last shield captain, he is charging this fly rent. Alright, looking for some 6s. This is the first 12 out of 24. Whoa. We got 2 so far. And we'll add four more, so that's six hits total. And I think we are wounding you on fours. So we got three wounds. I don't think there's any minus to that, so. Let's see some ones. Come on, two ups. Ah. All good. Alright, and for the charge distance, we made it. Alright, so we're going to start with this shield captain against the Flying Hive Tyrant. Um, our lance we get five attacks with, and then I bought a, a Miscordia for everyone who can take one, so we get a sixth attack with that weapon. What is a Miscordia? It's like a dagger. It's like a ceremonial dagger. Yeah, okay. So who's driving the bike if you're using both weapons? I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So here, uh, the Miscordia's blue. Uh, hitting on twos. And we reroll ones because we're a captain. So everything hit. Um, the lance is strength six, and you are toughness seven, right? Yep. And I get to reroll failed wound rolls on the black dice because I successfully charged this turn with my lance. Um, he need, just needs a five normally. So we'll reroll these guys. Nice. So four hits with the lance. Um, that is a minus three to your save, so your invuln is a four up, right? Yep. Let's see some four up invulns. I got two out of four. All right, and then each hit does D3 damage. So he's down five, so he's at six wounds. Since he hurt himself earlier trying to do psychic shenanigans. <laughs> All right, and my warlord, um, the same exact deal that I just explained with the previous guy. So twos, reroll this one. 
wounding on fives with everything. Or no, what's his toughness? Is it? Toughness, six. Six? Okay. So the black is wounding on fours, and the blue is wounding on fives. So everything is wounded. <laughs> no, you rolled fours. Yeah. Oh, these wound on fours? Yeah. All right, and the minus? Uh, three. All right, so we need some sixes. And then the blue one is only a minus two. So you saved the blue. All right, so it's five D3 wounds. Yes. I think he might be dead. <laughs> And what is it? How many wounds does he have? No, I don't know. <laughs> does he have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? I doubt it, but... Okay, so he did bring in the Tyran effects. So with my powerful limbs, I got four attacks hitting on fours. I got three hits. Wound, excuse me, wounding you on threes. So that's three wounds at minus one, two damage each. That's as high as it could go because I have a three up in Vuln. All good. And over here, because you're paroxysmed, the brain guy gets to go. He's got one attack hitting on a four, wounding on a five. No. Okay. And he finally gets to go. Now he gets to go. Oh, wait, did your high tyrant go? No, not yet. All right, so next my hive tyrant is going. He gets four attacks plus one for his prehensile pincer, pincer tail. Hitting on threes because he is wounded. And then these are these are gonna be wounding on threes. I think that's only wounding on a five. So that's all wounds. Uh, I'll find out the minuses, but I think these you're gonna get your three up in bone. Oh no, he's a, just a four yeah, up in bone, right? You don't have a minus right now. Let me uh, check what those are. All right, so no AP on any of those. So two ups. We're all of good. Of course. <laughs> okay, Custody into big nerd brain. Reroll the ones. Okay, so everything is hit. Um, your toughness is four, right? Yep. So the blue is winning on a four, everything else is winning on a three. Reroll failed wounds because I charged you with the lance. So that is five wounds. Your three up in bones. Three up in bones, come on. Sorry to do this to you, Jake. But I'll make all of them. Okay, so quick recap. I killed that Carnifex over there. Um, heavily damaged your Flyrant. And sadly, unsuccessfully killed the brain that's going to smite me in a minute. Yeah, you could kill a Carnifex, but you couldn't kill a floating brain. Man. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so on to Tyranid's turn uh, three. All right, turn three. I don't know, I'm, I'm running out of bugs here, but I still have my big bugs. And even though my Tyranifix can't shoot this turn, uh, I am going to be able to get a full Psychic Phase off and still get some shots off at these guys. Hopefully I can kill these guys before these guys can change anything. Oh, I also had to deep strike my um, little river swarms over there. They'll probably just die, but I'll keep those space marines busy for a turn. So on to uh, Tyranid Psychic Phase. Alright, so my Hive Tyrant's going to cast Smite on this guy down here. He's not your Warlord, right? This, yeah, he this is. One. That's your Warlord? Yeah. Okay. That's why he has Victor of the Blood Games card. Oh, oh, yeah. So okay. I forget. <laughs> so Smiting, looking for that Magic five. Oh. Ah! That's D6. That's awesome. All right, let's see. D6 mortal wounds. Uh, I'm going to spend a command point. Oh. Much better. And then you get some weird shenanigans, right? Yeah, I, get, I basically get a six up save. Um, Aegis of the Emperor, I think it is. Okay. Against um, mortal wounds in the psychic phase, or okay. just mortal wounds. So there's two. Okay. And then in addition, I have a five up uh, feel no pain equivalent because I am a perfect creation. That was my warlord trait. So two damage. Next, the Hive Tyrant is going to cast Catalyst on himself. Looking for Warp Charge 6. And we get it with a 7. So he gets a 5 up, feel no pain. 
Next up, that Zoanthrope is going to be casting Smite on Jake's captain. This time Smite's gone up one, so I'm looking for a six. I got it with a seven. D3 Mortal Wounds. We'll go with one Mortal Wound. All right, uh, six up save. No. Five up save. No. Next up, that uh, Neurothrope is going to be doing Psychic Scream on the same dude. Looking for Warp Charge 5. And we get it with a 7. So this is D3 Mortal Wounds. We got three Mortal Wounds. Let's see all your 6 up, 5 up shenanigans again. <laughs> Alright, 6s, 5s. Nope. Yeah, two more get through. So down to 2. Down to 2. So let's see if that last Neurothrope can peel those last two wounds off you. Next up, this Neurothrope is going to be smiting uh, Jake's Warlord as well. This is my third smite attempt, so I need a seven, right Jake? Yep. And I am a Neurothrope, so I can reroll ones. Whew. Thankfully. <laughs> and we got a seven, all right. And it is D3 Mortal Wounds. So that is two Mortal Wounds. That's enough if you fail these. All right, sixes. Nope. nope. Dang nope. it. So you needed those, those fives. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to use um, Victor of the Blood Games ability. I haven't used it yet just because I haven't needed it until now. So basically, I just get to reroll a save. So you can reroll a reroll? Oh no, you haven't rerolled this. I haven't rerolled it. Okay, so he's down to one wound. Yep. All right, at the uh, end of my movement phase, I'm going to use Rapid Regeneration, two command points. So I'm down to three command points, and basically. I can get D3 wounds back, and I'm going to do that on my Hive Tyrant. Oh, he gets one wound back, which is enough to get me to my uh, undamaged bracket, but he has seven wounds left. Okay, that was my Psychic Phase. Pretty good Psychic Phase. I kind of wish I would have killed that guy in the Psychic Phase, but he's still alive with one wound. So I'm going to try to give the honor of the kill to my Hive Tyrant, who's been healed up, so he's hitting on... Um, threes, and it's 24 shots that have one wound. Surely we can get something happen. Of course, we have a lot of and then it's wounding on uh, strength six or toughness six. Yep. So wounding on fours. All right, we got five wounds, Jake. Can you roll me a one? Uh, no. Please? <laughs> uh, no. No, all right. He lives. All right, next up, my Exocrine is gonna be firing at this shield captain up here. Um, and I can do that because we're using the uh, playtest rules that um, for these characters, a character does not prevent you from targeting another character, only a, a unit. So he is a valid target for the Exocrine. Uh, so we are hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, and I'm rolling all 12 dice together because um, he gives a double shoot when he doesn't move. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. And we get to re-roll those ones. Duh and turn them into twos. Now it is strength uh, seven, so it's going to be threes to wound. And we got three wounds at minus three, so your three up involved comes into play. Uh, it's actually a four up involved for him. Involved. So it's going to make two. Two damage go through. All right, next up the hive guard are going to be firing into that uh, a warlord with one wound. I'm hitting you on threes, rerolling ones. Five hits. I'm wounding you on a three. And you're going to get your three up invuln. Yep. Ooh. We veil it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so how much damage is this? And then those are. 
All right, so these are all uh, D3 uh, damage each. So we've got uh, seven wounds total, Jake, for your... Easy, no problem. All five ups. <laughs> oh, close. And he's dead. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to play a special stratagem, which is called something. Okay, so I'm going to play a new card called Shoulder the Mantle. So for one command point, basically my warlord is going to switch to another one. So we're going to switch to this jet bike that has no damage on him. And you immediately generate a new warlord trait. So I'm going to pick the 5-up Feel No Pain one yet again. Alright, next up my bio wars are going to be firing into this guy. Hitting on fours, rerolling ones. So that's one hit. Uh, on a one, it's nothing. Two through five, one mortal wound, a six D3 mortal wounds. So that is one mortal wound on that guy. Okay, so he is down to four. And we're also putting this four mines from the miss over here to hopefully block us a little bit uh, from any charges from those captains. Alright, just to uh, recap my turn, because I don't have any assaults, those guys flew out of assault so they can't assault in, um, and those Venomthropes, I don't think I want them to assault. So, uh, I managed to kill the Warlord who jumped over here, and I managed to put some wounds on this guy. Really, that's about it on my turn, but that's productive, because each one of these guys is terrifying. So, on to um, Space Marine turn four. Okay, so um, we pulled my bikes all the way back. Um, we used their advance. They automatically advanced six inches, which is nice. So we're going 20 inches back. So we made it all the way back to here. Um, the reason why we did that is because we couldn't really handle that psychic. We were definitely dying next turn. I don't, I don't think the damage output was worth it. Um, so we've retreated back towards the objective. And these Marines have also come over, so the Ripper Swarms have to see more of my guns so I can kill them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think those Ripper Swarms are going to last long. So here it's good, because you have the objective, and I guess we didn't declare it, but it's going to be worth three points. I don't think I can get to it here in the time that we have left, but we'll see. And since you have that shenanigans, I didn't get Slay the Warlord. Yeah. So that's a that's pretty good. But All right, so on to shooting for the Imperium. All right, this Dreadnought needs fours to hit those... Venomthropes. Venom throats. Rerolling the one. Pretty good, all things considering. All right, and then I am strength seven, so when you on threes, I imagine. Yep. Okay, and that is a minus one to your save. All right, so their armor is a five up, so it goes to a six. So I need to see a lot of uh, sixes here on Jake's table top tactics dice. Ugh! So I take seven wounds. So that kills two and uh, leaves one venom throat there on two wounds. Okay, so we didn't really do a whole bunch this turn, um, but my dreadnought did get pretty lucky and he took out two of those tentacle venom throats. <laughs> yes. I didn't realize, I forgot venom throats, if I would have charged, I could have got mortal wounds. There's a chance that they do mortal wounds in, a, in close combat. Oh, nice. So they kind of stink, but they they could do some damage. But well, he was dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was going to be dead anyway. All right, so uh, on to uh, this Tyranid's turn four. All right, uh, recapping movement. Uh, Tyranifex moved over. He flew up. These guys are moving forward. Uh, both brain bugs are there, neurothropes. He's staying put for full rate of fire plasma. Those guys uh, are going to stay put as well. And we're going to go into the psychic phase. We're just going to go straight into the psychic phase. We're going to start with um, psychic from the hive tyrant smiting your dreadnought. Let's see if we can get another 11 from this guy. Please no. Oh, eight. So that goes off for D3 mortal wounds. That's three Stop. mortal wounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
And then, so that's, uh, he doesn't have any invulns for... Uh, oh no, he doesn't he have a six up? Yeah, I think he has a six up. Alright, so let's see, three six ups. One. Okay, so he takes two wounds. Alright, so here we go with Catalyst. Whoa. And we get it with a seven, so he is Catalyst again. That's a, such a great power for him. Next up, this guy is going to try to smite the Dreadnought. Uh, this is my second smite, so I need a six instead of a five. But it's my Neurothrope, so I can reroll ones. But I get it with a ten. So I don't need to. And then uh, D3, Mortal Wounds. Two Mortal Wounds, so Jake. Sixes. No. Uh, two more down. And then he's going to cast Psychic Scream, Warp Value 5 on the Dreadnought as well. Whoa. And we get it with a 7. I'm going to play Spark of Divinity. All right. And so basically that's this. a deny. So I got a 7. So I need a 9. Yeah. yeah all right. So he no <laughs> no Psychic Scream. Very nice. All right, uh, so now we're going into the shooting phase. We're going to try to finish off that Dreadnought because he's down to three wounds and he's really been causing me a lot of trouble. We're going to start with the Biovores. Now, we haven't been doing this, so we'll have to remember, you took the Raven Guard. Yeah, so I'm a minus one to hit beyond 12 inches, which we totally forgot his first whole shooting phase. Sorry, yep. everyone. <laughs> All right, so, and that's good. A Dreadnought uh, gets the chapter tactics as well as infantry. So he should be fine. So instead of a four, I need fives, and I'm re-rolling ones. Oh, you were so lucky. Good thing you remembered that. So that puts down three more spore mines. Next up, the Tyrannifex is firing at the Dreadnought as well. Uh, so, well, that's going to be a very high hit number. So normally I hit on a four. It went to a five because I moved, and it's six because you're using the Raven Guard rule. So I've got three shots looking for sixes. Whew. Dang it. Not <laughs> one. Oh, I still got a wound. So let's see that wound on so a three, to wound, right? three up. Yep. Yeah. Got that as well. And it is like a uh, last cannon. So it's minus three and then uh, d6 damage. And I have an invuln save which is the Automatic shielding, so a five up in one. Yep. Yay! Uh. <laughs> All right, next up, Hive Tyrant is shooting at your Dreadnought. 24 shots, hitting on uh, threes, fours because of your um, shenanigans. Whoa. That doesn't look too bad. What is this one here? That looks decent. And then uh, the tough part is wounding you on fives. So if you're toughness seven, you need some fives here. Whoa. And it looks like we got three fives. Yeah. So if you fail all these, I kill you. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, my armor is a three up, I believe. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. And then six up. Uh, for the ancient glory thingamajig. Nice, one more. So he's down to two. Okay. Alright, this guy, the exocrine, is going to fire at him because he's just barely closer. So we are looking at, uh, I didn't move so I can double tap you. I'm just firing everything into you. So there's going to be 12 shots hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Whoa. Ugh. I have not been impressed by this bug so far. No. He sure looks cool. Though. So we got some ones here. Let's get those. He's even smiling. Ugh. All right, so we got five wounds. I'm oh, sorry, five hits. Wounding you on threes. So we got four wounds at minus three, so you're four up invuln. Invuln. Ugh. And each one of these is two damage. Okay. Um, so you got six feel no pains. He gets feel no pains. No, he doesn't. So okay. he just takes the damage. All right. So he's so he's dead. dead. But he's not okay. The last uh, unit in the shooting phase are my hive guard over there. They're going to be firing at the dreadnought. And they can shoot at a unit that is out of sight. 
Um, normally they hit on threes, but fours because we're going to remember that Raven Guard from from now on. So hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. <laughs> so looks like we, we got, got one right here. Oh, so we got three ones. <laughs> and we don't convert any of those into hits. So we got two hits. Wounding you at strength eight, so wounding you on threes. So that is two wounds. It is, um, I think it's minus two, but we'll, we'll find out. Okay, so five up either way then. I think so. So the two go through, and I think it's a D3 each. Okay. So it's three wounds, and then you get your six, right? Yep. Okay, so let's, let's see some sixes. Nothing no, and does down. he... I think he explodes worse because he has atonomic shielding. Uh, I think so. I think it might be on a five. But, but that it explodes, explodes anyway. Do you want to spend a command point? Um, because it might do more damage. I'm going to see we'll, we'll check. how bad he explodes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay, so with my last command point, I'm going to reroll his explosion. So. <laughs> um, just not, don't roll a six and I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, let's I'm going to roll one of these blue dice. <laughs> I'm yeah. good. <laughs> All right, but that is your last command point. It is, but he did D3 mortal wounds, and it was guaranteed to both of these guys. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That was definitely worth it. And that concludes uh, the turn to turn. I don't have anything I can assault. So that was a really good turn, I think, Jake. I, I killed off the Dreadnought that was pretty healthy and that wounded uh, shield captain. Yeah. But I got to get all the way there. Yeah. And I don't see that happening unless the turn the game goes to seven and I get really lucky. So this is on to uh, Imperial turn five. Okay, so a quick turn recap. We are pulling back and getting all of our resources on this objective so we can all stand together. This is pretty epic, guys. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, this poor... Our captain is so slow. He rolled a one again for his advance, so he made it to right here. Because <laughs> he's in cataphractic armor, he's only moves four normally. Yeah, and so, his advance is even slower too. Because so. that wall is four inches high, you have to advance. Yeah, I have to roll something decent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need like at least a two to get up there. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see what uh, shooting you could manage here. All right, since Jake has so much, uh, so many shots right there. These are the only things <laughs> They're like range. the only thing I can do that. <laughs> so these uh, puffballs will all die, and I have no problem just removing them, and uh, I'll need them next turn anyway. So um, any other shooting? Uh, no, that's really it. <laughs> yeah, because he had a lot of his guys advanced to get up there. Yeah, so. I advanced this corner, and this corner was going to shoot, but they can't, obviously, now. All right, so it's Tyranids, turn five. All right, recapping uh, Tyranid movement. Uh, in the backfield, I've got enough range and uh, shooting that I can hit that building with pretty much everything I've got. But I do need my psychic guys up closer. So my Hive Tyrant, my two uh, Neurothropes with the one remaining uh, Venomthrope are moving up. I've got my River Swarm. They are brave. They are going to win me the game. Or tie me up. Uh, they should be able to charge those guys on the ground if they're still alive after the shooting phase. So we are going into uh, Psychic Phase, turn it's turn 5. Alright, uh, so Hive Tyrant in Psychic Phase. Oh, before Psychic Phase, end of movement phase. Um, do I want to heal him up? No, I'm not going to heal him up. I'm not going to do that yet. Alright, so he is going to cast Smite on this guy who is the closest to him. So he is looking for that 5. Whew. I get it with a 7. Do you want to try to deny it or anything? I don't have any command points to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, then D3 mortal wounds. So just one mortal wound. Do you have any... Does he have any kind of invuln? Okay. So he's, he's down by one. Well, he has an invuln. He just doesn't have one. He doesn't have a feel no pain equivalent. And then the other psychic power for my hive tyrant is uh, catalyst. We're going to go for that, and we're looking for a six. And we get it with a six. So again, he has his catalyst. Then moving on to the zoanthrope, or sorry, the neurothropes. The closest is going to be uh, these marines up here on the corner. So we're going to smite. This is my second smite, so I need a six instead of a five. And because I'm a neurothrope, I can reroll that one. <laughs> but I can't reroll that other one. 
And then the other Neuranthrope's gonna cast Smite. He needs a 7. He rolls a 4, so he fails. And he's gonna cast um, the Psychic Scream. And we get that off. So that is the three mortal wounds onto that squad for three. And that is my psychic phase. All right, so my banner is actually close enough to start working now. So three four ups for each guy that died, and then they get to shoot. We rolled one. So we're going to rapid fire a bolter into these guys. Two the rippers. One hits, wounding on a three, three. One wound. All right, I think they have three wounds each, but we'll double check that. All right, Ripper Swarm does have a six-up armor, and he's good. No damage. You are... All right, Hive Tyrant is going to fire into this unit of five Marines. We are hitting on um, threes. Oh, no, are we hitting on fours? Let's see. We are... Nope, we're within 12. So we're hitting on threes. A lot of misses. And then we are wounding on threes. Your dice are failing me, Jake. Alright, so like these are even. all uh, rolled. Any one is a dead dude. So kill so one. Yeah. one. And on a four up, he shoots. He does not. Next up, Tyrannifex is going to be firing at that Cataphracty armored captain. He did not move, so he's actually going to be double tapping that's going to be six shots hitting on fours re-rolling ones do you hit on fives because i'm raven guard? oh yeah you're raven guard ah, so i lose two all right and then i am strength eight so i'm sure you're still toughness four because you're a space marine yes so uh we need twos to wound Ugh. i tell you what let's spend the command point yeah we'll command point that so i'm down to two command points and I get two hits, you get your three up in bomb for your eye. Okay, so two three up saves. Saved them both. Next up, my biovores are going to be firing three shots into this unit of four marines. Hitting on fives because of your raven guard. So that's going to be three misses. Oh, well, I can reroll the one because of mine. Still miss, so that creates three spore mines. They're back. I'm going to put them right up here against the wall so you'll have a harder time shooting them. Exocrine is going to fire into this unit of four tactical marines. Um, so we need, uh, he did not move, so he's double tapping for 12 shots total. Hitting on fives, rerolling ones. No ones to speak of. I have a couple fours, but we did get... That's pretty tasty. Five hits, wounding you on threes. Only two wounds, minus three, two damage each. This is on the Marines? The Marines, so you okay. get a five up save. So two go through. Two are dead. All right, and four ups. No, stupid banner. Next, Hive Guard. Six shots into this unit of two Marines in the corner of the building. Um, so we are hitting you on threes normally, so fours because of Raven Guard. And we can reroll the one. That's a little bit better. Five hits. Strength eight, so we're wounding you on twos. Of course, we roll two ones. And then it is minus two, so you get a four up save. And these are D3 damage each, but you've only got one. Four up save, or four up uh, ancient, ancient banner. Yeah, chapter ancient. One goes off, two shots into those little jerks down there. No, we're going to do two shots into that guy. What guy? The Venom throw? Yes. Okay. Uh, needing three fours. fours. Ah, doesn't even add up. Well, it does add up. <laughs> does, uh, Still right. angry, though. <laughs> and that kills that squad. All right, that's it for shooting. So the only charge I've got, I'm declaring a charge. Those Ripper Swarms are going to try to charge that guy there, bringing in this uh, squad of five. Only four of them can see, though, so it's going to be eight shots in defensive fire. Eating sixes. 
All right, look at them go. Oh, my. Shoot better than normal shoot. And then threes to wound. Two wounds. Six and then ups. six up saves. So one ripper stand is down to one wound. And then I need a nine inch charge. Whoa. And I get a 12. Nice. Okay, so these guys are going to go into the tactical marines. Each, each stand has four attacks. So that's 16 attacks total, but they're only hitting on fives. And that that's pretty good roll. <laughs> bad. Yeah, that's way above average. All right, and then um, we're wounding on fives though as well. It's only strength three. Oh, nice. Also awesome. So that is five wounds with your normal three up save, no minus. So, so we kill two. Two. Um, so four up. See if they hit you. They do. So they get to swing in close combat before they die. Yep. So basically, all five of your guys can just all go and yeah. just three. So five attacks. Wounding on threes. Four hits. Wounding on threes. Squishing. Ah, only one. one. And a six up save. That kills one stand who is down to one wound. All right. Oh. And then we'll go to my captain next who heroically intervened. All right, so my captain has four attacks hitting on twos. Thankfully, we reroll ones. So I'll hit strength plus two. So that makes us go up to a strength six. So when you're on twos. All right, so that is three wound, or four wounds, and you get no save, and each one is D3 damage. So the first one is kills one, the second one kills one, and the third one. And then that kills the last one. Go, Captain! Okay, and this is what would be the morale phase, but I can't fail it. I have two guys left here, and the chapter banner is giving them plus one to their uh, morale. Um, and that is it for Tyranids. All right, so see if the game continues. I really, really hope it doesn't. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it continues. So if, if it ends, I lose. The Tyranids lose. Yeah. But if it continues, I might have a chance. Yeah, there's still definitely a so chance. So let's see that uh, three up. Ah! <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, good game, Jake. Good game. <laughs> Well, all right, folks, there you go. It was an Imperial victory. The uh, Space Marines barely hung on, were able to extract the data from the uh, computers of Outpost 23, and were successful. However, it is a sad day for the Imperium. It is. Two shield captains died. Yeah, that's a big deal. If you guys ever read any of like the books or anything, just a normal custode is a huge deal dying, so let alone two shield captains is a, is a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, that last shield captain's probably got some explaining to do. With yeah, that base. Probably. <laughs> so, how did you think of the? What did you think of the battle? Uh, it was fun. It's definitely not how I thought it would go. In the beginning, I was. I think I was a little cocky, and I thought I was doing pretty well. Um, I figured with my shield captains, when I pushed out towards you in that spearhead move with just all three of them, I figured I would kill probably a good fair share. But um, the biggest downside to that is it really split my forces because everything over on this side, it was basically bolters and then my dreadnought was out of range, so they couldn't really target anything good or hurt anything. Um, so my shield captains were kind of stranded, left to the mortal wounds, terrifyingness of the Tyranids. Yeah. So our narrative battle is kind of cool because you can imagine this giant wave of of termagants running up and you just mowed all those guys yeah, down. Yeah, definitely. That's why I put hurricane bolters on all of them. I think it's totally worth it to get 12 shots, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. <laughs> yeah, and I think I had like 35 gaunts or something like that. Yeah, and they, didn't really, they didn't really matter. That was really good. So our narrative, obviously our lists aren't super competitive. Um, I just wanted to play with my custodes. That's all I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Which was fun, and I wanted to try my shooty Tyranids, so... I thought they worked pretty well. The smites seemed to uh, really help against those shield captains with their yeah. four plus involve and three plus involve and feel no pain. They're quite terrifying. But smites seemed to, even then, you got really lucky with your denying or saving. Yeah, one of them the I got really lucky on, but it still <coughs> hurt. Like, you just can't defend. That's why my list, I'm having a lot more custodes 
um, in the works right now. So I'm going to do basically a whole army, and then I'm going to ally in some assassins with some Caluxus, which I know a lot of other people like to do as well. So hopefully that'll help um, make them a little bit more protected, because their biggest weakness is hordes and psychic. I think hordes I've got down just because I've put hurricane bolters on all the bikes. Well, but using the new uh, uh, playtest rules, characters can't shield other characters from firing. You need troops to, to yeah. do that. So that's something to keep in mind. Definitely. So uh, so in our, our narrative, who do you think your MVP was? Um, I still put it as my biker, and this was the one. It wasn't the warlord yet. He wasn't yet a one at the beginning. But he. Uh, I just thought it was so cool, like cinematically wise, where he boosts up, sees the flying hive tyrant, and then just jams his lance right into his chest. I think I did six damage right off the bat. And we didn't kill him, but I just think that's really cool cinematically. <laughs> Yeah, and then it's not quite as cinematic that you ran away the next turn. <laughs> yeah, well, I wanted them to live, or at least one bike to live. So that was that was good. I liked that. The other shield captain totally speared a Carnifex. In yeah, he gun. annihilated him, which that was, was pretty, pretty cool. cool. <laughs> that re-rolling wounds on the lance when you charge is awesome. Yeah. Obviously, it only works when you charge, which makes sense because it's a lance. And then I got really lucky. You tried to spear the brain bug. Oh, the yeah. throw, but I, I only made. needed one fail, really, to have, at least have a chance, and you yeah. stopped everything. You got everything. That was three brutal. Three up involves were nice. So how do you like three up involves? <laughs> Those were good. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that was good. But I, I can throw out a lot of smite because the biovores, um, they, they, they're pretty nasty. Yeah, yeah, you do a lot of mortal wounds, which is rough on this army. <laughs> and I don't want to spam any one unit. I just... Now, competitively, that one might be good if you had, like, nine biovores. You just imagine the spore mines. That'd be cool, and, having a whole artillery list. <laughs> oh, that would be just... But, uh, you know, having some biovores, having some hive guard, lots of indirect fire, I thought was, was pretty cool. So you never saw the biovores tried to engage them, so these mines are just flying through the air, landing on you. It was, it was never really worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I had bigger fish to fry at the moment. <laughs> so there you go. So... That was exciting. It was our narrative battle again. This is not a uh, competitive lists or anything like that. We just wanted to play with our new just, terrain. Just for fun. Play some new models and had a good time. Again, uh, we're both new to these armies, so if we made any mistakes, go ahead and uh, uh, point them out in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and keep on wargaming.